Hi guys, welcome back to another What's New Wednesday. Well, this week we are going to Ikea. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? Okay, so firstly, before we begin, if you can hear any like whooping or cheering, Mum and Chris are watching Ninja Warrior in the living room and they're being quite loud. <laughs> anyway, today we went to Ikea in Southampton. Chris wanted to go. It, this was not my doing. Chris wanted to go. All will become apparent why he wanted to go during the video. Don't worry. I, was, I wasn't sure and then, and then I realised. So without further ado, let's go around and see what's new in Ikea and then come back and I will show you what we bought today. So hello, we are here at Ikea. Let's go and see what's new. Does anyone else find the hand sanitizer in Ikea to be like, literally like pure alcohol? Am I gonna get any? Hello? Ah, thank you. Cool, yeah, so you're booked in for quarter past 11. Quarter past 11, okay, thank you. Thank you. So we've just booked for lunch at quarter past 11. That's the first time they could fit us in, which is good. So we're having what? lunch here today. 75. Oh, for the cushion covers. Yeah, there, look. Quite nice one. They're, they're nice. They're not like, it's not like a fine. velvet one. They're not like velvety one or anything. Well, no, they, they are velvet. velvet. Not grey one. Oh. You've got a dark grey one as well, but they're not. Oh, yeah. They do the cushions in pink as well. <laughs> Is this why you wanted to come here? I won't wear those storage boxes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's have a look then. So, this is the Lego stuff. Ikea Lego. Yeah. So what is it? Basically it's just a storage box. This is what it is? But then all those little bits and bobs I've got, you would just sort of store inside it, I thought. So which one have you put big in the one. big one? So they're all different sizes. I keep oh. all the books in I see. Is it just one colour? Yeah, just white. Right. right. You can stick your Lego bits on it. I see. We had those in our snack surprise. You just put some in. Yep. <laughs> Mum's just spotted a little drawing. What is it? Like a tray? Yeah, it's a tray. Look, that uh, Yeah. Yeah. And then you put your pencils in it. Yeah, so it's just a pencil case come drawing well, tray. Yeah. Tray sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah. How much is it? It's oh, it's ten pound. Oh, it's a portable drawing case. Yeah, you could have that in the car or wherever, couldn't you? That's really good for kids, isn't it? Yeah. I love the idea of these pegboards. You can put them anywhere, can't you? These pegboards, they're £12. I actually really like the colour of this sofa. In the right setting, it looks quite comfy as well. Doesn't this look really comfy? Like really, I could just dive in there actually. <laughs> it's a corner sofa bed. But the bedding, yeah, but the bedding looks really cosy, doesn't it? it? Smells like Christmas in this room. I mean, it doesn't look like Christmas, but it smells like Christmas. I love the fact that they put scents in the room now. Can I actually buy that road sign here, or is that just, somebody just taken that from the road? <laughs> it looks a bit beat up. They put lights around it, don't they? <laughs> I like the lights. Funky, isn't it? What is this? Is this like a shed come den or something? Is that what they've made it look like? Oh, look at this room. Oh, it's very like 90s. Yeah, but it's like 90s, isn't it? Look at these lights in this room. Oh, nice. Oh, what's the smell here? Oh, that one. Oh, I like that. Oh, this is very serene, this room. Come outside into the garden terrace. Oh, it's chilly out here. Ooh. <laughs> I do really like that. I like that. All the twinkly lights. This marble effect is really nice. It goes all the way up, like the panelling. Is that like a kitchen worktop? Yes. Yeah, but they've used it as like a panel for the living room. Yeah. That's clever. I like that effect. Look at this serving trolley. £125. That's like industrial, that's like kitchen. I think I show this every time, but it's like my favourite dining set. It just reminds me of something out of a period drama. I love it. I love the lace, I love the flowers. 
these gold trays are nice. I can imagine these trays with like candles and like decorative stuff for Christmas. So they've got them in gold and silver. What are they called? Groggy. Eight pound. What's he doing over here? What is he doing? What are you doing? Making a noise? Oh, you're looking at new utensils. <laughs> Bad. Yeah. How much? For three. Oh, for three of them. The only one I'm missing is a holy one, but yeah. So like, I want the plastic so it doesn't scrape the pan. Yeah. But I want the metal handle. What's this? A portable induction oh. hob. Yeah. Oh, so you can just take it off. Yeah. And it's a. Yeah. Oh, you that's could, clever. Like, if you think there's something you could take it outside if you want, if it's not raining. Yeah. Forty quid. There's an extra one when it's busy, like when you've got. You could, put that, you could put that on like the island and yeah. cook something on. Like Christmas, you could have yeah. an extra. You could have got a small kitchen. That's that. really good. Ooh, oh, well. look, this is just like our kitchen. Can I get excited now? Because this is literally like our kitchen. Apart from the doors are flush rather than like embossed. This is really sweet. It's got, it's like stands for wellies and then what they've done in frames, they've put names isn't that really cute it's a really good idea oh this kitchen is in progress right now what's it gonna be look here's that hob again that induction hob it's like tempting us to buy it oh, i never noticed this before floor protectors for your desk 19 pound that's a good idea to save the floor yeah is that same as your desk? Yeah, that is my desk. Yeah. Hmm. It's this bedroom. Oh, it's very tranquil in here. <laughs> oh, like a studio flat. Yeah. There's that hob again. It's following me. I know, it's quite good. <laughs> Like you said, you haven't got much room. Is it a new thing, or am I just little, seeing it now? You're in like a little bed city type thing. You're in one little hob, don't you? Yeah. Quite good. I took the front door. Chris just said a flat like this would probably cost like 500 grand in London. He's not wrong. Outfit of the day. <laughs> This is nice. I like this wardrobe, actually. Do you think these people live in this apartment in a place like this? Do you think? Oh, it's good light in here. Good. Okay. <laughs> I think they have got an infestation. They've been robbed. <laughs> they left the pearls. They left the costume jewelry. <laughs> Everything seems to be reminding me of like the 80s nine 80s yeah, and 90s and yes black i had and red white white red black furniture type yes i had white furniture like that but like red handles, red handles yeah yeah paper with black red and white stripes i think everybody had it in the 80s honey i think that's what they saw <laughs> yeah like a paint splash behind the mirror they've literally just gone <laughs> and then put the what mirror had, like, some just, like, just went on the wall and put the mirror on. Is that your artistic spin on Pollock. that? Jackson Pollock all over the place. Jackson Pollock all over the place. <laughs> Got more cushion covers here. £3.50 reduced from £5. These are more like waffly style ones. Oh, do I spy a little bit of Christmas? Christmas baking. Got little um, cake cases. Heart pastry cutters. What are these ones? Icicle pastry cutters, they're sweet. This is Santa Claus dishcloth. 50p. A dish it's a dishcloth. Mum's looking at the baking tins. They're cute, aren't yeah, they? Three pounds. Is it a set of three or is it just one? One. Oh, cute. Place mats. Is that a cat? Or a pound. Yeah, it's a cat. Santa and his cat. <laughs> Has Santa always had a cat? No. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Mum just went, they've sold out because of Bake Off. I was like, no! I'm getting it this time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I know. I'm getting it this time. You're coming home with me. We've got a little bit of 
Christmas wrap and tags and bows. Only a little bit. Oh, there's more around here. Oh. I like these bags. That's sweet. Oh, what's this? Is this an advent calendar? Oh, yeah. yeah little bags. Advent bags. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? You can put in what you want. A little chocolate every day or something. Yeah. How much is that? Uh, seven pound. That's not bad, is it? You can make oh. your own for your children. So they don't have to have chocolate. They don't have to have it. So we are in the restaurant. Oh, it's exciting. But they're doing things a bit differently. So I thought I'd explain like the eating in the restaurant. So you have to book when you come in, book a table. And then when you get here, you go up, say your name and they bring you to your table. So they have selected a table for you. Then you pick off the menu and then they ask for one person to go up and order the food. And then they will bring your food over to you. So it's not really self-serve anymore you literally have to order it and then they bring it to your table now so it's a little bit different um obviously the menus are all plastic and wipe proof and i've just seen as well they do plant balls obviously they're a vegetarian option if you want meatballs so here's our food it's just been brought over to us oh everything's all sealed look like the cakes all Lumpy. are all wrapped also just to note you can't get your free refills anymore everything is in cans i guess it's to stop contamination and people touching the machine and everything but anyway everyone started their food i'm just like jabbering on mum's got fish and chips <laughs> i've got meatballs and mash mm. oh i am stuffed chris actually said that that was quicker doing it that way than I'm queuing than yeah it is quicker doing the table service. I enjoyed that. Here it is. Bargain corner, bargain corner. Everybody needs a bit of bargain corner. Ooh. £50 for chairs. £89 for the table. Oh, cheers. Good price, isn't it, for the table? £89 for that big table. Yeah. What else they got? Wash baskets. 28 quid. For a wash basket. Oh, cool. That's not very bargain corner, is it? Bargain corner, bargain corner. Everybody needs a bit of bargain corner. Blinds and lamps and bottles and glasses. Bargain corner, bargain corner. Anyway, Chris has left me with the trolley. He's gone off in search of something. I don't know what, but we're going to head to the till, I think. And I will show you what we got when I get home. And we're back. And how nice is it that we were able to eat in the restaurant today? Bit of a different type of service, as I was showing you, but it was still nice and on the same to have, you know, a nice meal in there, like a meatball meal. I know we've had like the little tubs when we've been and like had them in the car, but it's not the same. And I really enjoyed it. So that was nice. Anyway, you may have realised by now, the main purpose of the trip for Chris was to get this. Yes. Uh, it's it's a box uh basically lego have collaborated with ikea and they've brought out this storage tub it's a lego storage tub they do it in different sizes was there three sizes or four sizes i can't quite remember uh ask chris he'll know uh but this is called the big big Elec? big Lek. and basically it's just a tub to store your lego in and then it's got the lego grooves at the top so you can build on it so chris got the big one which was 15 pound um so yeah but we didn't just get that it wasn't a wasted trip in fact i was very pleased because if you watched my last ikea come shop with me you'll know how gutted i was that i didn't get this and now i have it i got the cake stand, I got the cake stand. i'm so excited in fact i'm going to open it up and show you so there we go it comes in three sections it's glass, so it's gonna look really nice. Basically, it's gonna look like this. It's got the bits inside as well to like screw it all together. But that was eight pound. And I'm very excited now, because especially I've started doing a bit more baking again, now that Bake Off's on. Um, I'm gonna be making some nice little cakes and stuff. And that's gonna look nice on my new cake stand. So I'm looking forward to that. And then we also bought a few other bits and bobs, in fact. And these are Ikea bags as well. I do love the Ikea shopping bags. They're a pound. Um, but we already had these in our drawer. Um, anyway, 
what did we get oh we got an ikea brochure they were as you were leaving so i'll have a flick through that um so we got some plant pots i think these were one pound fifty each we got these for the windowsill for the kitchen we just need to get some plants for it um i wasn't very enamored with the plants in there for seven pound they're quite expensive i think i can get cheaper ones in like the range or even poundland or like pep and co uh, i can get the plants to fit these pots but i do like these pots and we got them for the windowsill when we had the new kitchen so got a couple of plant pots for one pound fifty each what else did we get um oh chris got some <laughs> utensils for the new kitchen it's focused around the new kitchen uh so three utensils for four pounds so you get a spatula a ladle and a spoon uh what else is in this bag oh i got some cake cases the little christmasy cake cases to go with my cake stand uh, and then i got some uh twining gray and white twining i think this was like one pound fifty and the reason that i got this is because in this bag here oh my god i don't want to drop it because it's got glass in it so i want to do a hot chocolate station at christmas i've seen it all on pinterest and instagram and all that kind of stuff and i think it looks so nice for christmas and so i bought these little jars to do it so i've got these little ones here which i'm gonna fill with bits and bobs like maybe some candy cane some little sprinkles things like that uh these were 275 for a pack of three and then these other canisters were i think this one was one pound 50 and this was two pounds something so i'm gonna fill this one with hot chocolate and then i'm gonna fill this one with marshmallows and then i'm gonna get a tray of some sort and make it all decorative at christmas time so i'm thinking ahead um but i've got the twining grey and white twining to wrap around the lids because I think that'll look really nice and especially like I know I keep going on about the new kitchen but I'm very excited I'm getting things sort of that are in the theme and the colour of the kitchen so I thought that would go really nicely for my hot chocolate station and then what else did we get oh uh Chris wanted to get these spice jars for the new cupboard I think they were like two quid and you get four spice jars to fill oh i have to use my label machine to label these up make them look all nice uh he also bought another one of <laughs> he's obsessed with these i don't know what he does with them he has them in the van he has one at work in the office one in the van i think we've got another one in the cupboard but he's obsessed with them um i think it's because of the straw actually i mean so he doesn't like paper straw i don't like paper straws either i have the either the metal ones or the silicone ones um but these are really nice because the straw folds into the lid and i think this was four pounds so he got another one of those and you can put fruit in it and infuse the fruit if you want to so you've got another one of those and then the last thing that we got today like we didn't we didn't go mad really to be honest he only really wanted to get his lego thing but these were just added extras we got some biscuits these biscuits uh kafarep kafarep these were in our snack surprise box and they were so nice they're basically like jammy dodgers but with chocolate really really nice i think they were a pound um so yeah so that's it that's all we bought from ikea today i hope you've enjoyed today's video and i will see you again in another video very soon take care and i'll see you then bye would you stay till the morning light or would you follow me or would you let it be if i leave tonight we could do this right we'll find the remedy or would you stay with me now till the morning light